Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to activate the human scale reference for your character creator tree. You can see the left hand side, you look at the picture. This is an adult, adult female with the high heel shoes and this yellow color is the dummy, the human scale reference. And you look at the, the right hand side, this is a little boy and the height. How tall is he? It is about at the chest of the adult humans. So how to activate the human scale reference in your CC3 start from now? I'm going to guide you step by step how to do this. First, you just need to scroll down, go to my video descriptions, go and download this iProp. I already put the download link there. This is my Google, Google Drive download link. Once you, you already download it, you can just put in into your computer as as example i put it on my desktop so now you look at your character creator tree cc3 here this is an example but i'm going to start from from the scratch i start a new project here to show you step by step how to get this now you can see once you start a new project this is the default avatar and before you start you just press ctrl g press ctrl g to to toggle the grid line and next you press ctrl a you can toggle the world axis and then next what you are going to do is you adjust to a suitable window size next you drag in the human scale dummy that I provide for you just go and download it first you drag in into the center of the world axis and release your mouse now you can see this is a human scale reference and you look at your scene you click your avatar the CC base plus you can see the height of, of your human avatar alright to make it more accurate you can just click here and, and just click the motion select the t-pose use the t-pose as a reference now the object height is 171.27 you must make sure you already selected this and then you press Q and double click this prop you can adjust the opacity just click here and then this is the opacity you can just adjust it so that it won't completely block your avatar you still can see how tall is this avatar it is up to you to, to adjust the opacity next what about if you want to create a children, create a child, you may just click here and scroll up, you press Q, select your avatar and click load neutral base and for this time I don't save, I click replace all and let's have a look. Now you can see this is the beginning of your project, this is a CC3 base avatar. Of course, first I will just give this avatar a, a pen before we start to do anything. Give him a pen. And also, next, you may want to create any of, of the kids or any of the giants. You can just click here to adjust the size. It is under the full body and here you should be able to find the scale. You just search it for scale, S-C-A-L-E. You can see the character scale A and character scale B. Usually we'll use the character scale A. You can, you can grow your avatar to be a giant as well or you can just make it in that way let's say if you want to create 
a little boy, a little boy about ten years old or seven years old. Next, once you already make the make the the whole body skill, make the whole avatar skill to come. Already becomes more. Next, you can adjust the head scale. Just need to go to go to the head, and here you also need to search the head and search for scale. You can see the head scale. Most probably, you have to increase the size of the head so that you can make this avatar to be to be a children. These are the children scale. All right. The smaller the body, the bigger the head. You can adjust the, the head scale, scale so that he look like a little boy before before you start start your head shot or any of the morph creation to create a new avatar. Just use this reference as the adult scale reference and create your avatar. It is a, a, a more convenient way to adjust it that way. Alright, that's all for today about how to activate the human scale reference for your character creator tree. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.